xin chào mừng các bạn đến với chương trình tự học tiếng Anh ANC khi trước thêm năm mới năm 2024 xin mời các bạn nghe một trong những chia sẻ à, kinh nghiệm về à, cái cách học tiếng Anh rất là hay à, của một trong những giáo sư dạy tiếng Anh lâu năm cho Đài Loan thì đó là giáo sư Linda Baker ở đây thì à, các bạn hãy nghe cái à, cái đề xuất của giáo sư người Mỹ này về cái năm cách để chúng ta cải thiện kỹ năng nghe nói tiếng Anh trong năm mới Bây giờ các bạn hãy à, à, cùng tôi đi vào nội dung chính của bài học hôm nay I'm Avi Arditi with Roseanne Skirbel and this week on Wordmaster English teacher Lita Baker suggests five resolutions for people who want to improve their English in the new year. My first resolution that I would recommend people make is to spend a certain amount of time listening to English and it can be five minutes a day or it can be ten minutes a week or it can be whatever suits uh, a person's work schedule, life schedule or whatever but it's really important to set goals and to stick to them and it would be very helpful if people had internet access to do this because what I'm going to recommend is listening to sites that have scripts included um, what do you do if you don't have access to a computer how can you listen better well almost everyone all over the world has access to pop music and one of my resolutions would be to spend time listening to English music. The advantage of listening to music is that it's a really wonderful way to work on your pronunciation because you know you you get a feeling for the stress and the rhythm of the language when you're singing and also uh, music is full of idioms so it's a terrific way to learn colloquial vocabulary and to work on your pronunciation and a third advantage of listening to music is that it's really easy to remember. So for people who have access only to a radio, even they can do something to improve their English just by listening to pop music. And I might add, if you do have access to the internet, um, there are lots of internet sites that will give you the lyrics to pop songs. Do a search, type music or t uh, uh, songs plus lyrics and you'll find sites where you can type in the name of the song and it will give you the lyrics to the song. So spend a little bit more time listening or have a goal for listening. Listen to English music. Um, what else? Something I always tell my students and they're very surprised when I tell them this is read children's books. That makes sense and, though. Yeah. Why few do you words, say that? Well, few words. It's, it's um, simple, direct, right? simple. Lots of pictures. That puts there it in a go. context. There you go. And the other thing is that you, you can find children's books at all levels. If you are a total beginner in English, you know, you start with books that have just a few words on the page and lots of pictures, and you can work your way up to books that have, relatively speaking, more text and fewer illustrations. But again, children's books are very motivating to this day I enjoy reading the books I read to my daughter when she was a little girl so now we've got the the listening to the radio listening to music uh, going online looking for uh, scripts of programs to go with the audio reading children's books what's your next resolution learn a new word every day and if you don't have time to do it every day do it every other day again pick a realistic goal. Choose your word, look up the meaning, but then don't stop there. Look at the examples in the dictionary for how the word is used. You know, is it is it used as a noun? Is it a verb? Well, um, is it used to talk about people? Is it, if it's an adjective, it, does it have a positive meaning or a negative meaning? So look for what's called the connotation of the word. And then when you're sitting in your car or you're walking you know, to the bus stop or sitting on the bus, practice. Put the word into your own sentences. Think of ways that you could use that word. And so now we come to our very last resolution, which in a way is the most difficult one, because my last resolution would be, even if it's only very occasionally, talk to native speakers every chance you get. Lita Baker from the American Language Center at the University of California, Los Angeles. 
with five New Year's resolutions that people can make to improve their English. Before we go, as we come to the end of another year, we note the passing of Mary Newton Bruder, the linguist in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, known as the Grammar Lady. She dedicated her life to helping people improve their grammar. We are grateful for her contributions to Wordmaster. Mary Newton Bruder died in August at the age of 64. That's all for Wordmaster this week. Our email address is word at voanews.com. And Internet users can read and listen to all our segments at voanews.com slash wordmaster. Wishing you all the best in this holiday season. With Avi Arditi, I'm Roseanne Skirble.